I really hate it when I have to use my webcam because it makes me think that I'm lagging, but I'm not actually lagging. What is this computer? <laughs> And I'm back! Kind of been gone for three weeks, so, you know, what have I missed? Firstly, Ellie ukulele, that is so cool. Every time I go into a guitar shop, I always seem to see this little ukulele that's blue with pineapples on it, and I wouldn't get it so much, but I've got to save. <sighs> Secondly, to Marion and Erin, sorry about being so delayed with the responses to you. I had trouble getting onto the internet while I was away and so the only time I really went on was when I had to do my uni timetable and that sort of thing. Don't lag. So yeah, sorry about that. But thank you so much for filling in for me. I totally owe you both one. Ah. Thirdly, Erin, your scarf is totally awesome. I like the red. It's very nice. Fourthly, Steph, you look lovely and sepia. Fifthly, um, I'm behind on this whole Vanessa Hudgens thing. What is this? I have issues with her as an actress. I like High School Musical, I'll say that much, but mostly for Lucas Grebel because I think he's pretty good. But I have issues with Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron. Why do you put somebody in a musical who can't dance? It's just stupid. Especially if they're the main character. If they can't dance and you chuck them in backup, that's not as bad. But the fact that you've got Zac Efron marching through a grassy field. Like, sorry, I'll stop ranting. This isn't even going to end up in the thing anyway. It's too long. But Marion, the joke with the Nessie, good for the lols. Of the cosign there, the soundtrack. I think I kind of spoke about this a little bit when I, when I first got the track. But after listening to it in the movie... I have more of an appreciation for a couple of the songs, particularly the dancey sort of songs because I'm not so much into the dance music, but my favourite songs definitely have to be Never Think just because of the tones of uh, Robert Pattinson's voice are really uh, the kind of sound I like, enjoy, I like to enjoy. Flightless Bird in brackets American Mouth, I really like that one too just because that's got that laid back feel to it which is the kind of music I like at the moment. And the full moon song. Chains well, that's when I'll go. That's another thing I like. I like the backup music, the tunes in the background. Twilight, how I got into it. Basically, what happened was Vath heard from her American friend to read Twilight. Vath read Twilight. Vath told Divya to read Twilight. Vath and Divya then told Trent. They went, oh, at his 18th party, oh, Trent, you have to read this book. It's really big. It's really good. You'll like it. He's like, oh, sorry, guys. Already read the book. And they had brought Twilight with them. And then they went, ah, you know who's a bookworm? Claire. She'll love this book. And then they gave it to me. And then I didn't read it at first. We went over to their house while they were working on an assignment one day. And I was kind of tag along friend because I didn't want to go to uni. Don't skip uni, it's bad. Um, they sat there and did their accounting assignments and I read a book. And that book was Twilight and I loved it and I kept making faces and noises and they kept looking at me and laughing, which is a bit mean of them. And the reason I love it is probably just because it gives you that feeling. It's not so much for the writing. If you want to read good writing, read The Book Thief, which is beautiful visual imagery in every single chapter. Twilight's really good at just capturing that and the feeling of the whole whirlwind that Bella gets swept up into and all the, the little family things you just feel everything she feels which I think is why I enjoy it so much but Alison I will see you tomorrow hopefully okay bye fourth Ellie no third Ellie <laughs> uh, no not Ellie Erin oh so many E's did I say Ellie before if so I meant Erin um, Erin, awesome skirt, scarf, <sighs> can't think, fuck.